Hi, uh, let me properly introduce myself. My name is Corey Glasper, and I am a new 2020-2021 4 H State Ambassador, and today I'm interviewing Dr. Molly Gregg. So it's nice to see you this morning. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, and I'm so glad to see you. Welcome yes. to the new 2020 year. Yes, exciting. What a year. <laughs> So I'm going to be asking you questions, just interviewing you about your job and stuff. Okay. So we'll just get started. All righty. So what was your major in college? Well, you know, my major in college was political science. And uh, I thought I would go to law school. But I came back home um, and then I lived in Atlanta for a while. And I went back and got my certification to teach and started teaching. So... Why did you choose this profession? Well, you know, teaching kind of chose me. You know, I was kind of dissatisfied. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And um, a friend said, uh, I can remember when she said it, you should go back and get your teaching certificate. You'll be a great teacher. And so that's what I did. I went back to um, Georgia State in Atlanta and worked on my teaching certificate. And I graduated in um, like December and I had a job in the Fulton County public school systems in January. That's good. So what would you think your job would have been if you were not in this job? Oh, wow. If I was not in this job, hmm, it's hard, it's hard to imagine. I'd probably still be in the classroom. I, I, I would probably still be in the classroom. I may, I may have... Um, moved out and tried to be like maybe an assistant principal or a principal at, this, at a school, one of those roles. So what is a day like on your job? Well, I think one of the most exciting things about my job is no day is like the next or like, like another, you know, every, every day is different. You know, what is a lot of fun is that I work with a lot of people that's heart is all about the young people in Alabama. And, you know, I'm from Alabama. I grew up in Alabama. I grew up in Birmingham. And one of the things I do like about my job is that, you know, I, I came back home and, uh, you know, there's a lot of need everywhere, but there's need here in Alabama. So it's really nice to be able to serve such a great people of, that are really their job is to serve Alabama and serve the young people of Alabama. So I know what your job is a lot of obstacles that you have to face within your job. So how did you overcome difficult obstacles during your job? Well, you know, I think one of the things is, is that, you know, when you get become a leader, um, you can't let your, you, you've got to surround yourself with great team people. And, you know, whenever I have an obstacle or a problem, you know, I, I walk down the hall to Miss Joy. And, you know, I sit down with Miss Joy sit down with Miss Nancy or Tony, I have, you know, the staff that are on this table and sit down and I, you know, I bring them around and we talk about what the obstacle is and the barrier. So, you know, one of the things and there, there are problems and there are barriers and things, but you know, I've never felt alone. I've never felt alone. I've always been surrounded by just really good people that have, you know, helped me to, you know, to, to move forward and get through, get through um, hard times. So I know as your profession you have, you have, well, you have a high profession mm -hmm. in your job. So what is kind of the sacrifices that you have to take with your job? Well, I think that one of the, the things that, you know, it's, I don't know if sacrifice is, well, I, I guess sometimes that uh, my family might think that, you know, I don't pay as much attention to them as I should. Um, but at the same time, I think that uh, they try to be as supportive as you can. I think, you know, I, I think back when I was younger and, you know, I was on a, a business trip when my youngest son learned to walk and, you know, things like that. Uh, so you are on the road a lot. And so you do miss things, but you also have an opportunity to kind of re really know the things you're not going to sacrifice and uh, uh, make sure that you participate in those. But there is, uh, there are sometimes travel, you know, that you, you miss things and, um, you know, which is really kind of a, a nice um, job. Nice and difficult about this job is that it's, 
you know, now because of technology and you have phones, so you can, you know, if somebody has a, a problem or a question or, you know, at their camp and it's two o'clock in the morning and they're worried, they can call you, you know, and you can, you know, figure out that problem together or, or say, we're going to, oh, it's going to be okay. This is what we'll do. But also I think that part of it is that you're, so you're really never down. That, that would be one, that would be one of the barriers that you have to really kind of manage is sometimes you have to disconnect, you know, disconnect so that you, you can kind of rejuvenate. So I know you're pretty busy. So what is a day like on your job? Well, you know, I try to get up in the morning and walk and get a little physical activity. And so usually when I come in, you know, I, I come in the door and it, it's kind of funny because just about everybody you walk into, walk to, they have a question about or have you or have we or we need. So what's kind of interesting about my job is by the time you, I get to my, my desk and I sit down, you know, that list that I thought I was going to work on, there have been about three or four things added to it that have become a new priority. So, you know, a typical day is really about coming in and sitting down and kind of, I'm a list person. You know, I, uh, I sit down in my notebook and I wrote, write down the things that I want to do. And boy, I strike that thing off that list when it's done. And that's just kind of how, how I am. So usually, and then I come in, I check my emails to kind of think about what I'm going to, what I do. A lot of time um, on the computer, a lot of time on the phone, talking to, to staff that are in the field, a lot of time, uh, lots of times when I'll, I like to look at program materials and, and right now I'm looking at ways that we can support young people online and through virtual that kind of thing. And you know, the door, not as many people are here now because we're kind of in rotations because of the current conditions. But you know, there's always somebody coming in, in the door that we've got to or we need to. And so, you know, you just have to be flexible and roll with it and, and get, get what needs to be done during the day. So um, last question I can ask of you sure. would be, what advice would you give to the youth interested in your job? I think go for it. It's it's a great, fun job. Um, you work with great people. Um, you there's, there's some travel, but I think one thing too is is that you have to be that you, your role is to serve others. Your role is to be sure, like employees, make sure that they have the the things that they need so that they can they can do their job. Um, your role is to you know, what's so important to me, and I know, you know I drive them crazy a little bit, you know, I'm always asking, well, give me your numbers, give me your outcomes, give me your outputs, do your evaluation, because I feel like a real part of my job is to really brag and share with the public about what everybody's doing and what we do together. Um, so that's, that, that's a big part. So you've got to really be willing to, you know, push people to get the information and then get the information in a in a pretty easy format and get it out to your public so that they know all the great things that are, are going on. Like, you know, I love this, this video. They're gonna meet you and they're gonna say, look at this awesome young lady. So, you know, video is just a great way for us to highlight some of our awesome young people. It was so nice interviewing you today and thank you for taking time out to schedule because I know you're busy a lot, so thank you. So oh, much. it was my pleasure. Um, you have a great year. And um, you're the best. Thank you so much.